guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we have with us Ishita. She has grabbed an offer from Google. She got qualified uh, with the help of the step internship that Google offers. So step internship is basically a student training in engineering program. That is a program that is hosted by Google every year for second year students of engineering, wherein after they get a training at Google that is in the form of internship. So I'm so, so glad to host my own junior from my own college, student of second year, and uh, she has done computer science engineering. And I'm so happy to host uh, her today in this live session. So let us see how she did, how was the journey, how did she apply? and then finally uh, grab the offer from Google. Hi, Shita, how are you? Uh, congratulations, first of all, on the offer of Google. Thank you, Deep. So let's take up your interview about how you did in the in the internship and how actually you grabbed, because I've been getting a lot of queries when I shared this in my community on Telegram. So I have a community which has more than 500 people and I've shared the news with them and uh, I've got so many queries regarding what was your journey, how actually you applied in the in this uh, program. So first of all, uh, we would love to know your background, right? So um, what have you done up till now? What were your achievements and everything? If you can tell us in short about you. Yes, Ishita. Okay. Okay, so hello everyone. Myself, Ishita Bisaria. I am currently a sophomore pursuing my bachelor's in CSE from Banasthali Vidya Peet. I have a keen interest in web development, basically front-end development, and I am comfortable with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I am from UP. And as a hobby, I love music. Oh, wow, that, that's amazing. Also, you've been part of some communities, right? Would you like to share yeah. about them? Uh, yes, the, I am a, a part of D DSC Banasili Vidya Peet. It's a club of our college and it's basically working towards uplifting the college uh, coding culture. Okay, okay. That's amazing. So let us come up to the point about the STEP internship. So the first question, which will be very basic, is that how did you get to know about this program and what actually is the STEP internship that Google offers? So okay, if you so can tell in very basic terms, ki, how did you apply? How did you get to know about this step internship at your own pace? And also, uh, what is this program about? Yeah. Okay. So I, I got to know about step internship from LinkedIn. Um, like some people were some previous step interns and from my seniors. Step internship basically stands for stu uh, student training and engineering program. It's a, a 10 to 12 week internship opportunity provided by Google for uh, uh, like it releases for second year students and uh, it focuses more on under depressed uh, underrepresented groups like girls, but boys too can apply and can get selected for a step internship overseas. Oh, that that's amazing. So uh, this is only for the second year students, right? Yes. Dear. Okay. Chalo. Let us first know about, uh, so can you, do you remember when did the application form got released and what was the last date uh, for the uh, step internship? Uh, the, uh, like, as far as I remember, the application uh, release is released on 26th November 2021. Like, it can okay. be 25th also, I'm not that yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps, uh, somehow it is again in November, right? Yeah. Yeah, it okay. generally releases in uh, late November or early December every year. Okay. This year it released it released on twenty sixth November, and the last date was tenth December. Okay, okay. So, uh, what was the form about? It was just about your name and you know the basic information, or was was there any uh, you know paragraph questions or essay questions also were there? Uh, the in the form you will be asked to upload your resume or transcript then basic information like name address college email id phone number and linkedin profile that's it were there any essay questions also no the, no no essay okay, questions okay. okay so what was the procedure after your application uh, selection so were there any kinds of interviews or there was a telephonic interview or what Okay, so like some students uh, filled the application with referral. So for okay. the people, uh, for the people who filled with referral, they got a telephonic interview too. And for the people who didn't fill, uh, didn't uh, get selected with uh, with the referral, they were having only two technical interviews. Okay. The okay. technical interviews were totally based on data structures and algorithms. And there were two rounds of technical interviews. Like if you didn't get selected in the first one, you will not be uh, able to give the second one. So, okay. yeah. 
Okay, so did you apply with referral? No, the I applied without referral. Okay, okay, okay. So it, 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 if it is like you can apply via referral and without referral both, right? Yes, the, you can apply okay. anywhere. Okay. So can you tell more about the technical interviews you went through? What were uh, the data structures and algorithms? Were you asked to code those questions or how was it? How was it guy forward? Yeah. Okay, so like uh, when the when I entered into the interview uh, into the Google Meet, then the interviewer first gave uh, their introduction, then they asked for my introduction, and then they directly went to the questions. So first they asked like what basic approach we can uh, write for the given question. Then okay. if they are satisfied or if they want any further optimization, they'll ask for it, and at last you will be asked to code the algorithm. Acha, okay, okay. So they they gave you some uh, you know some tool to wherein you had to write the code right or you have uh, to share yes, your uh uh, the uh, for some people it was Google Docs, simple Google Docs. For my interviews, I was having another tool known as Google virtual Interview. interview. Mm -hmm. Yes, Google, the, Google interview. interview. Yes, the, uh, so it was it was kind of not perfect ID, but like uh, keywords got highlighted. Like in yeah, if you yeah, write yeah. in, then it gets highlighted. Uh, you have to select in the fact, language. The interviewer that. could also see that same page, and he could also yes, write. Yes, right. we don't need to share it uh, in the meet, but the interview can see that got it even i went through google interviews so i have a certain idea of how this functioning works they have another google virtual interview they had a plot yes. platform for interviews only okay got it so uh the next question that i would like to ask is what do you think how much level of dsa or you know the programming questions that were asked of what of what level so uh, uh, can you please classify the questions like was it simple array based questions or were were there some dynamic programming or some other other based questions because you are uh, in second year right because you might be knowing some basic dsa only up till now so what was it like i just want to know in general what kind of questions were there not exact questions but yeah uh, the the question level was uh, lead code easy medium okay uh, okay yes Got it. Yeah. Lead code easy medium and the important topics. Uh, this time, what I saw uh, from my experience, the important topics were arrays, strings, basic sorting algorithms, trees, graphs, and DB. Graphs was very important. Like almost everyone was asked about graphs. Okay, okay, got it. So I think al almost every part of DSA should be co covered because you never know what is asked, right? Yes, okay. like they not said that. Uh, that algorithms will not be asked that much but uh, yeah it, they were asked okay uh how did you prepare yourself for interviews like did they give some kind of you know ch uh, chart wherein they had written ki this this is were asked or what was a what how did you prepare uh basically when you got the mail that okay i am selected for technical interviews what exactly did you do Okay, so uh, like when I was preparing generally, without, uh, not for the step internship in particular, I was, uh, whenever I used to get some great, good question, I used to bookmark that question. So I just mm -hmm. went through those bookmarked questions and uh, uh, like uh, I read the experiences of fellow uh, fellow students who are who were giving the interviews. So graphs was, the ma was majorly asked topic. So I revised graph theory thoroughly before the interviews, before okay. the time. That, that's, that's, that's very good. Very good. So did you think that your resume played a role in the in selection criteria? Because there was nothing else asked, right? So you do you think that uh, your resume, uh, the CGPA, or maybe the branch that you have, CSE, that, did this play a role? Uh, yes, the, actually, when you fill the application, uh, the like, it is resume selection round. So resume is very important. Like uh, CGPA, uh, 8 to 8.5 would work and uh, branch is not specific like if you are from ec you're from chemical engineering anything you can apply for a step internship resume plays an important role in that absolutely uh, okay so i think uh, that that's all for the selection and application i just wanted uh, you to tell uh, some tips for the fellow aspirant of you know google step uh, this internship so a lot of people have been texting me that you know ask Ishita did this question that what tips she would give to the fellow aspirants. So if you could give ki, uh, something related to step or in general, maybe. 
ओके सो लाइक इन जनरल इफ यू आर अप्लाइंग ऑफ कैंपस I would recommend please do take a referral because it will boost your chances of getting your resume shortlisted. Rest for DSA, I preferred Lead Code and Geeks for Geeks. The important concepts, as I told, uh, were arrays, strings, trees, graphs, and dynamic programming. While in the interview, start from the brute force approach and gradually move to the optimized one. And uh, one of the most important tips uh, is communication. Like think out loud. whatever you are thinking just tell the interviewer because uh, like interviewer doesn't like if you're not communicating if you're just thinking uh, what to do what to do and like finally you're telling the approach so think out loud whatever you are thinking and a uh, very important is interviewer interviewer always gives you hints in between so try to grab those hints is very important to do it's a very uh, it's a great plus point even if you are not uh, reached the final optimized approach you like what how you are communicating or how you are grabbing the hints is it plays a major role okay okay thank you so much ishita do you think uh, when students are you know practicing this coding and everything then the coding environment they kind of fail in some questions right they are there so demotivated ki nahi ho rahe questions what to do next should i continue or not so what what do you think in that way like uh, did this happen to you as well and how did you come back to coding uh, i mean you know next day coming back to coding and then quite doing the questions so yeah yeah actually this 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 has happened to to me to my all all of my friends like yaar nahi ho raha abhi shayad main is cheez ke liye nahi bani hu main galat line mein aa gayi kyunki maine kai baar socha hai to it happens um basically what my thing was ki i was not having any other option i have to do this like right you know i can't change my line now so yeah it is like do or die situation you have to do it or uh, you know you you need to get that motivation from you and from inside so uh, from where all did you practice and what is your coding language or maybe you know if you want to give some tips to a very absolute beginner who has just come to world of coding or you know maybe some people are there who has whose branches you know maybe chemical or biotech and they want to come to it so can you please tell a kind of a journey ki hame kaise kaise coding karni chahiye according to you ki you know you should choose a language and then everything so from the scratch if you want to tell someone yeah okay so first of all uh, the choose any language like either c++ or java as i recommend because uh, these are the two main, most used languages in interviews so uh, either c++ or java Uh, then you start with data structures and algorithms. Uh, start from the basics ones like arrays, strings, then hashing. Then gradually move to you know uh, linked lists, then trees, graphs, and uh, uh, make some good projects. Like you can uh, you can get into web development, Android development, or machine learning, or any other tech stack that you like. And yeah. Right. Okay. So, what would you recommend a strategy for you know doing the questions? So, for example, a lot of people say that you know do two questions daily, while as others say that first complete arrays and then move to another set of you know uh, like strings. What would you suggest? Should we go and do one type of question daily, or would you you know complete the session? So, are you able to get my question? It is like, हमे arrays पूरा complete कर लेना चाहिए and then only should I move to <coughs> or should i get a basic insight of array and do just 10 to 12 questions on array and then i should move to string and once i complete all the data structures i should practice miscellaneous questions so what would your approach be in this okay so like when i was practicing uh, i used to do uh, like for example i took trees then i would just uh, do all the easy questions easy questions easy level questions on lead code of trees then i would move like and then i would do some of the medium questions then i would move to the further topics like one topic is never finished you cannot finish one topic and then you can move to the like this topic is completely over now i'm done with this topic you cannot do that so move with the further topics otherwise you will be left right okay so uh, the next question is like do you think communities and the extra curricular you know branches and the clubs that are there in our college the societies that are there do you think these things play a role while as these kinds of programs and internships are considered or only the technical knowledge is considered uh, these uh, kind of clubs and uh, like extra curricular extra curricular participation plays a major role in communication like you learn how to communicate you learn how to network 
like networking with your own seniors of your of your own college is very important so i would recommend do participate in all these things because extracurricular also matters a lot okay so you'll be part of codes right yes so could you please tell what what do we have over there and how do we practice and everything in the in that community uh, that you have? um Codis Cafe is a uh, community for women and uh, it's it's like uh, you will be assigned a mentor and you can ask any question you can you can reach out to that mentor any time for anything and like uh, it is having dedicated groups for cp part cp practice also so yeah it's overall a great community from there only i got to know so many experiences of step in like the students who were giving step interviews okay so if you would like to tell some tips or tricks that you applied on your own that you okay. felt ki iski wajah se mera selection hua you know some some things which you think you stand out from the rest of the students who applied so something you would tell about yourself that uh, i did this because of which you think ki you got selected anything about about the step internship or maybe in general okay so uh, one thing that i mentioned like i used to bookmark good questions so it helped in revising at the last moment uh, apart from this i maintained a separate uh, excel sheet in which i uh, put like i whenever i got some great good question i used to put the link in that excel sheet and write some something about it like what new concept is there in this question so you know i can revise the concepts from there easily so this is a very good way of revising and uh, at the last moment you won't feel like overwhelmed ki what from where to revise what to do the sare questions hai kya kare mm -hmm. got it got it okay so i have another question which says that uh, how did you you know any tips about making your resume because it's it's solely resume based selection in this google internship right so what do you think yes. how to uh, how did you optimize your resume or did you get it proofread by some seniors or something or some tips about resume making because i think resume is the uh, is the crux of getting selected in this resume and getting to the round 2 so anything you would like to tell about your resume and also in general okay so uh, first of all a uh, resume is very important i would uh, say ki uh, make your resume concise uh, make sure it has less space in it like uh, and uh, whatever you are mentioning don't mention it in paragraphs mention it in bullet points and uh, like for example if you're having some ranking or rating make it bold like these are some tips it it can you know make a uh, make your resume noticeable like uh, if you're having some rankings on code trip or code forces just bold that numbers because numbers speaks louder so yeah and i i got uh, my resume reviewed from one of my seniors and she suggested many edits in that and then i did it and then i up uh, uh, applied for it okay so i think a uh, lot many of questions have already been covered and you know i think a lot of the questions that i've got from even the viewers have been covered in this interview i'm so so thankful uh, to ishita and once again congratulate you for the achievement may you achieve lots of more and i wish i could host you again once again with new achievement of yours on that note thank you so much for coming in so that was all for the interview uh, thank you so much for watching up till the end if you have watched up please make sure that you like share and subscribe to this youtube channel and also Uh, if you haven't joined my community till yet, I have a Telegram group where I keep on sharing uh, the off-campus opportunities. So if that interests you, the link link is there in the description box, and I'll see you in the community. Bye.